Bench of Truth. Hello, I am Amy Lindberger, and this is Park Bench of Truth. Park Bench of Truth is a filmed improv exercise featuring improvisers, but not about improv. So today I have with me Morgan Miller. Hello, I'm Morgan Miller. <laughs> you may know her from her improv team, Mermaids, who perform every Tuesday night at UCB Chelsea. You may know her from Time Out New York, saying she's one of the best of the best stand-ups, so she performs all over the world. You can catch her in the Bonnaroo Comedy Tent. However, none of the things I just said about Morgan matter today. We're going to pull out a suggestion now. And we're going to be inspired. Feeling. Feeling. Our suggestion is feeling. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so intense and so <laughs> on point for my life right now. I am a big believer in therapy. Love I it. go to a lot of therapy. It's important. Um, I struggle a lot with mental uh, illness a lot. Mm -hmm. And so feeling for me is like a really hard thing. I like I'm always feeling a lot of emotions and have lately been like in the place where I really sit in them and I okay. just like feel them. Is it something that you feel like you can only really talk about it like when you're with your therapist or it's like I know I'm feeling something right now I just want to talk to anyone? Well I'm a big isolator so I love to isolate. So I talk to my <laughs> therapist a lot but yeah I've been more so like opening up to people and I do group therapy and I've been learning about cognitive behavioral therapy and Ooh. I'm like a big believer in that. I, yeah. I studied psychology in college. Mm -hmm. I was a psych major, um, business major, and uh, theater. <laughs> the <laughs> so big three. I was like, yeah, the, the triple threat. <laughs> Stand up is really a cool thing for, it's a sort of therapy in and of itself. Yeah. I do a lot of talking about my life and depression and a lot of open mics is me going and figuring out how to make like sad stuff funny because I think yeah. a lot of times um, people go to comedy shows to relate and a lot of people yeah. relate to that kind of stuff. I think there's something about stand up or I guess in comedy in general that you feel like you can touch it and you're like, oh, these people are 10 feet away from me. Totally. I feel what they're saying. I feel like I'm with them as they're saying it. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's like very personal. It's a very personal art form where you're, you are saying what you think is funny yeah. and people are judging yes or no. <laughs> but in general, yeah, it's a very like you open yourself up to a crowd and just feel like this is me. You know? <laughs> but the more I'm honest, I think the more people laugh and are, are excited to hear about that. And it's, I've like hid that kind of side of me for a very long time. Right. I like hid that, that I struggled with that kind of stuff, but it's good to like let it out and people like identify immensely, you know, yeah. my life since I've started taking care of myself with therapy and group therapy and all right, this kind right. of stuff and not drinking and like, ridding my body of toxins yeah, and all yeah, that yeah. kind of stuff, the funnier <laughs> I become and the more success I've gotten, which is like a testament to like, that's fantastic. Yeah, I think it's really easy to like forget that you can take care of yourself and it doesn't make you selfish. Yeah. Lately I've been like, I have to, I have to go out and I have to be doing all of these things and I have to be just like totally killing myself to like right. show that I'm making an effort. Right. <laughs> Sometimes it's okay to be like, I can't, I need to say no to something and it's not gonna mean that like, it's the end of an opportunity or totally. it's the end of a relationship. It's, it's literally me just being like, I feel overwhelmed. I feel like I'm spreading myself too thin. I feel my anxiety going totally. through the roof. And it's only going to blow up in my face unless I just like breathe. Yeah, yeah, 100%. And that is wisdom beyond your years, for sure, because I think <laughs> it takes a long time to learn that. I moved to the city and I was doing comedy seven nights a week. I was doing 15 sets a week. I was losing my comedy and I wasn't taking care of myself and yeah. I was so self-involved in comedy that um, I couldn't find the funny in the world. Do you think that there was like some kind of wake-up call for you that was like, this is, this is the moment I need to like take a step back and still pursue, but I need to also... Yeah, chill. it was when like all my material started being about <laughs> like open mics and I was like yeah. this is so I can't even like talk relate to people on a level because my whole life is that yeah so once I started living life and and taking a chill pill and taking nights to like watch movies or like look at a candle just like look at a flame and just like look watch at it, it exactly. watch it and sometimes I'll do that for like 10 minutes I remember the first time I went skinny dipping Ooh, I was yeah. like terrified I was always wildly insecure about how I look and what I wear and like how I come off to people right. and there was something about that experience specifically that I was like oh I'm fine yeah. <laughs> I need to like chill out and be like I'm a human being I have a human being's body right. it's fine and if people genuinely care that much about what I look like that's their problem. That's their problem. Yeah. That's just like so crazy that that was the suggestion because <laughs> like <laughs> that's literally where I am is like I was at a meeting the other day and someone was like, we feel, we deal, and we heal. 
and that was like the mantra and I was like wow that's <laughs> great <laughs> but like you gotta feel in order yeah. to deal and then you heal and it's like I'm in the process of just like feeling a lot yeah. and I'm like dealing as best I can yeah. you know and then eventually the healing will come but I thought that was so cool because a lot of people run away from their feelings and oh yeah they work through them or they drug and drink or they do this or <sighs> they them away a little yeah, bit yeah they just like and I I did that for years I just like ran away from all of this scary stuff in my head and finally I'm facing it and like the external stuff that's been coming mm-hmm. as I'm taking care of my mental health is like crazy yeah and I have to reflect on that and be like oh that isn't just because no yeah life's happening is because I'm like really taking care of myself I think I found with myself the more I actually am willing to talk about whatever it is that's stressing me out or like giving me anxiety the better I feel because I'm certainly somebody that like something bad or like horrible will happen and I'm like this is my own problem people have enough to deal with I don't want to burden them I don't know if, like, I don't want to say something to them and them not only look at me differently, but look at everything that's going on in my yeah, life differently definitely. and put all that pressure on it. But when I'm actually, like, open about it, I realize, no, everybody has something. Yeah. The people that should be in your life, I think, are willing to be empathetic towards right. you and, like, sensitive to your situation and, like, want to just see you totally at your healthiest. But it's a very hard thing to remember. Yeah. Well, people, like when people help other people that helps them immensely and that's what I've been learning a lot too is like when you ask for help them helping you is helping them just as much as it is helping you which I'm still learning very much and I'm always learning like I am not the pillar of like emotional health (laughs) as this has shown I don't think anybody is Um, I really don't I think everybody yeah. has stuff whether or not they've figured it out. Or totally. Not, they realize uh, totally. That that's what it is. Totally. Totally. Someone told me once that, like, everyone's uncomfortable always, and yeah. we're just trying our best. That's exactly to, it. To, like, be fakely comfortable. Yeah. Everybody wants to be, I think, good to each other, and it's just harder sometimes than others to actually make that happen. Yeah. But I think that it is possible for people to. It is. Take care yeah. of each other. Yeah, it is. And you just have to be willing to ask for help. Because I'm such, like, oh, I'm, I'm just, like this pillar of strength that can handle everything on my own right and that's what we all want to feel but it's not like that and the reason you have friends and family is to like have help yeah but this was an emotional this was emotional oh my god i felt a lot of feelings (laughs) (laughs) well on that note we are going to edit this conversation thank you so much morgan for sitting and talking with me yeah thanks for having me (laughs) i want your truth you guys watch it subscribe see you soon (laughs)